Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Indra's Communicate. Today we are discussing about organic qualitative analysis for phenols. The phenol is an aromatic organic compound having molecular formula C6H5OH. The phenol having a carbolic smell and it is mildly acidic. It requires careful handling because it can cause chemical burns. Color of the substance is noted. It is appeared as a dark brown color due to the air oxidation. The original phenol is colorless solution. The first reaction is action of water. Take a clean test tube and add a little amount of water into it. Then one or two drop of the given compound is added and shaken very well. Here we can see the compound is not dissolving in water. The second reaction is action with dilute HCl. Take a clean test tube and add one drop of the compound into it. Then add one or two ml of dilute HCl into it and shaken well. Here we can see the compound is not dissolving in dilute HCl that indicating the compound is not a base. The phenol is a slightly acidic compound. Action with sodium hydroxide solution. Take 2 or 3 ml of sodium hydroxide into a clean test tube and add one or two drop of the compound into it and shaken very well. We can see the compound is dissolving in sodium hydroxide. This indicating the phenol having slight acidic character. The phenol react with sodium hydroxide to form sodium phenoxide. The identification reaction is action with ferric chloride solution. Take 2 or 3 ml of ferric chloride solution into a clean test tube and add 1 or 2 drop of the given compound and shaken very well. We can see a violet coloration is produced. The violet coloration formed due to the phenol ferric chloride complex. The confirmatory test is Lieberman's nitroso reaction. Take a clean test tube and add one or two drop of concentrated H2SO4 into it and add a pinch of sodium nitrite into it. Then add one or two drop of the given compound into it. On addition of the compound into it, it becomes red color and on dilution with water, it becomes red colored solution.
add one or two drop of the red solution into a little of the sodium hydroxide solution then it become a light green or blue color here Here, addition of sodium hydroxide yields a green colored solution. The red color of this solution due to the formation of endophenol and its sodium salt becomes as blue or green in color.